Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to part 3 of my Mario Paint Composer tutorial. In this video, I'm going to teach you how I record my songs with Cam Studio and post them to YouTube with perfect clarity. The first thing you'll probably want to do is turn the volume a lot higher than you normally would. So I'll open my volume control, and uh, at least for me, the way my speakers work, I like to have it at 50% of uh, maximum. Um, basically, you want to turn it as loud as possible without hurting yourself. Uh, maybe it's just the way my speakers work, but for some reason, whenever I record a song, it always plays back softer than I recorded it. Um, maybe some volume's lost in the compression, or maybe I just have bad speakers. I don't know. Uh, but this is what I do, and it works for me. So once you get out of there, then you want to open Cam Studio, which I can't show you because I'm actually recording from Cam Studio. And finally, you want to open Mario Paint Composer. So let's do that. So uh, first thing you want to do is load your first song. I'm, I'm assuming that you've already completed your song and you're ready to record. So let's load that up. Now the way my Cam Studio is set up, uh, I think by default, <coughs> it, you have to press F8 to start recording. So hit F8, then hit play. Uh, don't worry about the clicking sound that you're going to get when you hit play because we'll edit that out later. Uh, so you just hit play and it starts going. So then you uh, wait for it to play out, it gets all the way to the end, and then once it gets here, you won't be able to see any notes anymore, the song is over, wait a second, then hit F9 to stop recording. You want to have a little bit too much at the beginning and the end, then too little, because you can always trim it down later on. Uh, in fact, uh, one thing I, f I like to do, uh, something I forgot to mention in my previous video, a little trick that I do, is um, I always like to add one note at the end here, then dampen the volume so basically you can't hear it, so that way all the notes will be played out to their full extent. If you don't put that there and you end a note at the last quarter note of a measure, what will happen is, for some reason, Mario Pink Composer will forget to play that note. It will only play the first three notes. So you want to uh, put that extra note there, that way you get everything. And uh, you repeat, once you've done that, you press F9, you uh, stop the recording, you save it, and you repeat the process for each MPC file that you use for your song if you're doing a really long song like I do. So once you're done with that, you uh, quit out of there, Alt F4, and it'll take you to some useless website. Let's get that out of there. And then you want to open a program called Windows Movie Maker. Um, I believe it's a free program that comes on your PC. Um, at least it's free on all of mine. And um, if not, I would think you could download it for free. I, I don't know. But uh, all I know is that it's on all of my PCs. So you open it up and you start importing all your movie files. So you just go to Import. And like I have Battle of the Bridge Part 1. And Part 2, Control-I, Part 3. And there you go. You've got all your uh, videos imported into Windows Movie Maker. Now, for your first part of the song, you want to click drag it down to the timeline. Whatever you have down here, that's what's actually going to uh, be in your video when you publish it finally. Now in the little screen in the upper right here, you should be able to see your song being played. Um, for some reason in this recording, I know it's not showing up, but I mean I can see it, and you'll be able to see it as well when you do your video editing. So uh, what you want to do is, it starts at the beginning, so you just keep on clicking to the next frame until you can see that yellow highlight around the first note. You should be able to see it right around here. So um, you see that yellow highlight. So now everything at the beginning is just empty sound. So you want to get rid of that. So you want to split it into two frames. When it's done with that, hit stop, delete, you've gotten rid of it. Now you're still going to get a little clicking sound when you hit play like this. So you want to get rid of that. So you, basically what you want to do is um, you want to repeat this process deleting one frame at a time. So uh, you click right, get rid of one frame, split it up, stop, delete, try again. Okay, we still got it, so we got to uh, do it one more time. Get another frame, split it up, stop, delete, try again. And there you go. Now you have no clicking sound and you still retain the full sound from the first note. Now, if your song uses multiple MPC files, uh, this is where it gets a little tricky. Now, uh, you want to uh, take your second file, drop it down here, and um, you want to move the first file to the end here, so that way uh, you can trim the second file from the beginning. All you got to do is hit stop, 
you go back to the beginning each time. So you'll switch them back later. So uh, now you just do the same thing again. You go oh, back to the beginning. Okay, you got a little clicking sound, so let's get rid of a frame there. Split it up, stop, delete, try again. And there you go, we got it on the first try this time. So now you want to switch them back so they're in the proper order. And um, so now you have to make sure that the end of the first part of the song transitions well into the second part. You want to make sure it transitions perfectly so as though it was one song. So basically, you want to trim frames from the end of the first part so that um, it'll make a smooth transition. And you just keep on deleting frames like that, just like you did at the beginning. So, um, yeah, so you just go to the end here and keep on clicking next frame. Now remember that extra note that I told you to add at the end of uh, your each part of the song? Keep on clicking next frame until you see the very first frame where the yellow highlight is around that extra note that I told you to put in there. So you do that, split it up, delete, and you should have a seamless transition. Let's check it out. And there you go. And if you didn't know any better, you probably couldn't tell the difference. It's almost seamless. It uh, may not be perfect, but I mean, I'm not a professional video editor and uh, there's probably a better way of doing it, but this works for me and my subscribers seem to enjoy it. So you just repeat the process again for however many parts you've got for your uh, Mario Paint Composer song. So now you have to publish your movie and um, if you're doing like a really long video like I've done sometimes, um, it'll exceed the 100 megabyte limit on YouTube for uploading a video. So, uh, but fortunately, when you publish a file, Windows Movie Maker will compress it for you. So you go up here, save movie file, whatever you've got down here after editing it, that's what you've got. That's what it's going to publish. So click next uh, and uh, choose wherever you want to put it, make a name for it, hit next. And then, yeah, you want best quality and then uh, it'll really compress it down real good. Then hit next and it'll save it and put it all together for you. It'll join all the files together for you as well. So once you've done that, then you want to go to YouTube with your account. So uh, go over here, hit upload, and then enter all the information for your video. So let's say battle on the bridge. Battle on the bridge. And uh, you'll want to put in more information than that, like maybe what game it's from and that you've done it in Mario Paint and so on. So let's just... Uh, Fill that out there. Okay, we've got something. And I put it in the music category because, well, it's a music video. And then you go, click Upload again, Browse, find your video, hit Upload, and you've done it. So congratulations. Now you can make Mario Paint Composer videos just like me. I hope everything works out for you. If you have any further questions, feel free to post them below or send me a message. Thanks for watching.